Hello YouTube, this is the One Real Analog Man, and I wanted to give you an update on the Multistar motor installation I've done in place of the stock motors, and then I'll talk about some other things I've done to the quad that might be of interest. So, here's a close-up of the new Multistar motor. Hope I can get this without uh, losing focus. I believe these motors are absolutely fantastic. They're all CNC. You can notice they've, they've, they're just really really well done very solid and uh, of special interest to a lot of you maybe you can see this I have modified the small parts CNC prop adapters so they'll fit this motor now they will not fit this motor as the motor comes so you'll have to do some modification to the CNC adapters if you want to use those. Now I don't use the stock propellers and I don't have any intention of doing that. The stock propellers for the 350QX will bolt up to these Multistar motors. However, I wanted to maintain the utilization of my CNC prop adapters. And I like the idea of being able to bolt various props on without too much trouble. And these prop adapters are fantastic. So. Uh, I'm not going to show you a video of how I did it, but I'll explain how I did it. Uh, it's really not difficult. And what you'll have to do is remount the shaft hole in the CNC prop adapter with a, uh, with a drill. But I did this, and I did it very carefully, but I do have a drill press. I don't think uh, using a hand drill to bore out the bottom of the CNC prop adapter would be advisable. But if you have a drill press, you just look at the shaft, get the appropriate drill bit, take your time. If you work with aluminum, you know that it will heat up as you drill. Uh, you want to make sure you keep getting the shavings out of it, out of the hole that you're making. And then when you're done, the prop adapter will bolt on with two of the bolt, bolt holes. Unfortunately, the way these are lining up, you can't really see it. But two of the four bolt holes will line up uh, on the CNC prop adapter and and two screws uh, two bolts are are sufficient to hold it on it's perfectly flat with the motor and so there should be absolutely no issues with strength now once again I'm going to fly this I did do a t small test flight last night just to verify that everything works okay and it absolutely works fine these motors are fantastic and the prop adapters the CNC prop adapters from small parts will work just fine if you do the modification now let me talk about a couple other things I've done. By the way, uh, I'll show you my my camera mount that I made for my Mobius. Uh, this video really isn't about that, but I wanted to mention it because you notice it's got some copper foil on it, which is for shielding purposes because the Mobius camera, as do most of the other cameras that people are using, the GoPros, etc., put out radio frequency interference, which causes problems. I also added the copper clad tape on the inside of the Mobius, or excuse me, inside of the 350QX body to shield the GPS unit from radio frequency interference. Before doing this, I could not use my Mobius with the 350QX because I could not get GPS locked because the radio frequency interference was so severe that it blocked out the GPS. With this camera mount and with the copper on the inside, copper shielding on the inside, it's copper tape, copper foil tape you can buy on eBay. Uh, that solved all the GPS lock problems and I have no further issues with that. So there's lots of videos on camera brackets and, and uh, actually a couple on doing the, the copper shielding I believe. Now one more thing I'll mention, I did the V2 upgrade, firmware upgrade. This is one of the original 350QXs. It now is running the V2 firmware. And I think of special note to most of you guys out there, guys and girls too, flying the 350QX, uh, is that they recommended doing a relocation of the GPS hardware along with the V2 upgrade. Now, my research has bared out that the reason they suggested this is not because of the V2 upgrade, but because of the camera interference issue. So I decided to solve my camera interference with shielding and I, when I did the V2 upgrade 
when I, let me say this again, when I did the V2 firmware upgrade, I did not relocate the GPS hardware as recommended. Now, I didn't like the idea of putting anything over the top of one of the ESCs, and that's what the hardware, the GPS hardware relocation involves. So this is running V2, and it's with the GPS hardware in the original location with absolutely no issues. And once again, the shielded camera mount and the shielding inside the body have taken care of any radio frequency interference issues with the cameras. So once again, I uh, hope some of this stuff is helpful to you. I'll give you one final look at the motors. Fantastic motors, the Multistar. I guess they're made by Turnigy, and you can buy them at Hobby King. I'm not uh, getting paid to advertise for Hobby King. And uh, once again, I'm using the CNC prop adapters with a slight modification to the prop adapters, drilling a hole so it will fit over the shaft, flush with the top of the motor, and using two bolts. I'll have a flight video up a little bit later. You can check it out, and I hope you guys and girls find this helpful. And God bless you all, and have a great day.